In this series of videos, we're going to talk about preparing and understanding the financial statements. We're going to learn how to prepare an income statement, a statement of retained earnings, and a balance sheet. But before we learn how to prepare any of those financial statements, we need to have a good understanding of these definitions. If you already understand the definitions listed there, you can skip ahead. This video isn't for you. But if you're shaky on any of them or you're not too sure, we're going to run through quickly definitions of each of these terms. And you can't do financial statements without understanding the terms well. So the first term I want to define is assets. I'm going to look up the Wikipedia definition. Wikipedia is not a bad thing. I know people uh, crap on it from time to time, but it's not a bad thing. Uh, here's Wikipedia's definition of the term asset. It says in financial accounting, assets are economic resources and intangible or intangible that is capable of being owned or controlled to produce value and that is held to have positive economic value is considered an asset. Simply stated, assets represent the ownership of value that can be converted into cash, although cash is also considered an asset, and it goes on. Um, I think this is a good definition and a fine definition. I think what you'll find if you look at it up in your textbook is they'll often talk about future economic benefit being the key uh, distinguisher of an asset. What I would say is at an introductory level, these are both too complex. So even your textbook or, or Wikipedia might be a little too complex or a little bit off. I would say at a very beginning level, you need to think of an asset as the things a company owns and controls that has a benefit to the company. So something the company owns and controls that's good for the company. So I'm sitting here in my office. I have a desk. I don't own the desk, but my, my university does. The desk is an asset of the university. There's a computer. I'm, I'm looking at my computer here. Here's my mouse. The, these are all assets of my company. Uh, the company owns it, controls it. It's good for the company. I'm sitting in a building. This building is an asset of the company. It's important to note, though, I am not an asset of my company. The company doesn't own me. They don't control me. They can't buy and sell me. So assets are the things that companies own and control that have a benefit to the company. Uh, I'm going to list a few examples of an asset here on this page. The most common and probably the most important example of an asset is cash. And the reason I say it's the most important is when a company runs out of cash, they're dead meat. Another type of uh, common type of asset you're going to see is accounts receivable, and the shorthand for that is AR. Uh, accounts receivable are whenever a uh, customer comes in, they buy something from you, and they don't pay their bill right away. They promise they're going to pay later. Uh, it's a short-term asset to you. They owe you money. That's an account receivable. Uh, the next type of asset I'm going to list is inventory. If you think of Walmart or Home Depot and they have stuff sitting on their shelves, well, that stuff is assets to them. That stuff they own and control. They're planning to sell it to you. That's called inventory, and that's an asset to that type of company. The final types of assets I'm going to list are property, like land, uh, buildings, and last, equipment. Any piece of equipment, like the computer I mentioned earlier, or the desk, these are assets. The building I'm in is an asset, and the land it's sitting on is also an asset. These are all examples of assets. They're all stuff companies can own and control, and they are no doubt good for the company. Next, we're going to talk about liabilities. Liabilities are defined, uh, again, on Wikipedia as uh, an obligation of an entity arising from past transactions or events. And I think that's a great uh, uh, a great definition. Uh, again, to put it in, in simpler terms even, I would say it's anything that the company owes. The key word is owes. Assets are owned. Liabilities are owed. So if the company owes something, that's a liability. Uh, common examples of liabilities are things like bank loans. You know, if your company borrows money from the bank, that's a liability. And often liabilities feature this word, payable. You'll see it all the time. Bank loan payable, mortgage payable, 
if it's got the word payable you can be assured it's a liability I quickly glossed over accounts receivable before but again that word receivable if it's got the word receivable you can be sure it's an asset anyway back to liabilities all the things a company can owe one final type of liability that I haven't mentioned is accounts payable and these are the short-term liabilities like I received a phone bill I haven't paid it yet I have an account payable I owe the phone company some money bank loans mortgages are more long-term in nature it might, it might go over a number of years accounts payable it's like you have 30 days to pay something that's an account payable um, there are other liabilities but I, I just want it to stick in your mind that the word payable is often key here but think of it in terms of anything that a company can owe all right on to our third topic so again we have assets the stuff a company can own and control that's good for the company and liabilities the things that companies owe our next one is shareholders equity let's read the definition off of Wikipedia they, they say equity we're gonna call it shareholders equity It says in accounting and finance equity is the residual claim or interest of the major junior class of investors in assets after the liabilities are paid the what a mouthful I always hate the way text and well in this case Wikipedia defines equity I think an easiest way to think of equity is actually to think of home equity and I'll explain so uh, I recently bought a, a townhouse and my townhouse cost me uh, three hundred thousand dollars and it's a beautiful new townhouse and that's an asset I own it I control it I can sell it if I want to I have an asset that's worth three hundred thousand dollars but I'm a college instructor I don't make a lot of money I don't have three hundred thousand dollars in cash sitting around so as you can guess I got a mortgage and when I got the mortgage I went to the bank and said I don't have three hundred thousand I don't even have two hundred thousand I don't have one hundred thousand I got fifty grand I need to borrow two hundred and fifty to buy this place so I got a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar mortgage again my townhouse is worth 300 grand my mortgage payable oh I misspelled mortgage sorry my mortgage payable is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so how much of my house do I really own well the amount left over for me the equity in the house is fifty thousand dollars that's my piece of the house in much the same way we can think of shareholders equity we say okay if a company's got a million dollars worth of assets and they have eight hundred thousand dollars worth of liabilities well the shareholders must own and control that last two hundred grand in other words if the company stopped dead tomorrow they use the assets and paid off the liabilities what would be left for the shareholders it's the shareholders piece of the pie and that's how I want you to think of equity so again assets the stuff the company owns and controls that's good for the company liabilities the stuff that the company owes the piece left over for the shareholders if they paid off all their liabilities using all their assets what's left for the shareholders what's the shareholders piece of the pie that's their equity that's the shareholders equity okay we've gone through three key definitions here two more to go oh uh, before I get to that a couple of key accounts in equity would be uh, uh, retained earnings and that is whenever a company makes money the shareholders piece of the pie gets bigger and the, the account we use is called retained earnings to reflect that the other key shareholders equity account here is common shares there can also be preferred shares and all sorts of classes of shares in the beginning though we're just gonna look at normal common shares also I'll classify it under equity when the shareholders decide they want to take money out of their company they take it in the form of a dividend and we'll look at all of these terms they're all gonna play into our financial statements but for now I would just memorize these I would say okay retained earnings common shares preferred shares perhaps and dividends are all sort of part of this equity puzzle but again the definitions assets the stuff a company owns and controls that's good for the company liabilities anything the company owes and it's almost always money right I have to pay the bank back in money uh, a few chapters down the road we'll look at what it is when a company owes something other than money uh, and last equity that's the owners piece of the pie what's left over for the shareholders 
Okay, last two definitions and then we'll get ready to jump into some real deal financial statements. Uh, the second to last definition I want to look at is revenues. And you probably have a good idea of what revenues are, but let's quickly look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, I mentioned that Wikipedia is a good source. This one got vandalized. It says revenue and then it says in Andy Carlos. So a guy named Andy Carlos uh, vandalized this. It should say in accounting. <laughs> revenue is the income that a company receives from its normal business activities, usually from the sale of goods or services to customers. I want you to think of revenues as earned. That word earned is key. So if I go to Walmart, their revenue will be sales revenue because they sell stuff to earn our money. If I go to a car repair shop, they'll have repair revenue because they repair your vehicle to earn their money. Uh, if you're a, a university or a college student, uh, you're paying tuition. Your university earns tuition revenue. So revenue is whatever the company does to earn their money. The final concept I want to define is expenses. Uh, and again, it says in common usage, an expense or expenditure is an outflow of money to another person or group to pay for an item or service. It goes on and it says in accounting, expense has a very specific meaning. It is an outflow of cash or other valuable assets from a person or company to another person or company. This outflow of cash is generally, uh, it goes on, the, the, the key point here is uh, it says technically an expense is an event in which an asset is used up or a liability is incurred. And this is really at the heart of the definition. Uh, an expense though uh, in simple terms is a cost associated with doing business. So let's say I want to run a, uh, a hair salon. Well what are the costs of running a hair salon? Well I gotta pay to keep the lights on so I'm gonna pay a utilities bill. I'll have a utilities expense. I have to pay hairdressers. I'm gonna pay them salaries or wages so I'll have a salaries expense. Uh, what are other costs of running that type of business? Maybe I rent my premises. I'll have a rent expense. Uh, I could have a property tax expense if I own my business. There's lots and lots of expenses, but these are the costs of doing business. So when I think of revenues, I think earn. I think money coming in. It's not always going to be tied to cash, as we'll talk about later. Expenses are those costs of doing business. So a few common ones are utilities, salaries, and rent, but there are hundreds of expenses, as you can well imagine. So heading back to the very top. I think at the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of what is an asset. It's the stuff a company owns and controls that's good for the company. And again, future economic benefit, I think, is our technical term there. Liabilities are anything the company owes. Almost always, it's going to be cash. You know, if I get a phone bill, I don't pay them back in uh, marshmallows. I pay them back in money. Uh, but sometimes you can owe things other than cash. Shareholders' equity, we talked about that's what's left over for the shareholders. That's the shareholders' piece of the pie. And revenues and expenses. Revenues are how the company earns money. So Walmart sells stuff. Uh, this university charges tuition. They'll have tuition revenue. And expenses are the cost of doing business. Paying your employees, uh, salaries expense, uh, keeping the lights on, utilities expense, and there's many, many more expenses. I hope you understand those five terms well. And uh, we'll talk more about the financial statements in the next.